Yo, what's going on you guys? DNA Snipes here, and in today's video we are going to be looking at the most best and the most worst things about the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 beta. Now we gotta keep in mind that this is just the beta, which is a good thing why we're coming out with this video. Hopefully Activision sees it. <clears throat> Come on now, Activision. Anyway, if they do see this, this will help out with the core game when it officially releases. Starting off, gear section. Now, all of this stuff is actually very, very cool, but uh, the one thing that I just wanted to throw out is that body armor, it, it doesn't do anything. Like, I, I, I've used it in probably 10 or more matches. I haven't seen a change in my health. I haven't seen a drop in damage done to myself. It, it doesn't do anything. You gotta either buff it or, or you know, do something different because it's, it's not doing anything. When you're using your equipment, it's the specialist equipment. But once you add something else on here, you're taking away a core aspect of our special characters. Now moving on to the perks, obviously we got all of our usual ones. I like that they brought in core aspects of later Call of Duties and also the Black Ops series as well. This is more of a mix of between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. I'd say that this is actually Call of Duty Black Ops 2.5. But anyway, the perks are very nice, straightforward. They only give you a little bit of good stuff. Um, and, and you know, it's, it's a perk. It's not going to do much you know hide you from the radar and kind of good stuff like that scavenger is back super duper good stuff i think that they took a good bits and pieces from all of the call of duties which is really really nice on to the weapons section i think that everything is basically balanced the icr7 i haven't maxed out it's such a good weapon i love this thing the kn57 i don't know what i have to say about it obviously i'm only level 21 so i haven't unlocked anything crazy yet but i did realize this thing right here the mx9 is game breaking look at the damage on that you wouldn't think that this thing would do anything but oh my goodness i wish i could find some gameplay and maybe i will but this thing mows this thing you you look at the kill cam and you look at the uh the final kills up on the top left there and it's just insane all you see is this gun because it's so amazing but uh it, it's it takes away from all the other weapons shot out They're taking control Pressing the fire Nomad kill Now with the sniper rifles, I like what they did here. They don't call me DNA snipes for nothing, but unfortunately, I can't see myself trying to find a groove with these things because I'm so messed up. I, I got so used to Black Ops 2 boots on the ground with the ballista, and now they're giving us snipers with only scopes. I don't know if you can find an iron sight yet, so I might just be bashing for no reason, but I would like to see an iron sight so that I can feel that ballista type feel back in the day and also have my Barrett 50 cal just because it looks like a beast. But that's, that's, that's my say on sniper rifles. Now moving on to the secondary weapons, I, we, I, I, I don't know what to say about the SG-12. It's like a miniature haymaker. It's, it's the Pee Wee Sherman of a haymaker. It's not the greatest. And then we have the MOG-12. I don't even know what to say about this thing. I mean, seriously, two shots to kill someone? That, no shotgun should ever do this. This isn't Fortnite, alright? We're not using the blue pump. The only good secondary that I think is actually useful is the Hellion Salvo, and this thing is actually a beast, I'm not even joking, takes out score streaks very well, and it kills people pretty quick. I, the only bad thing that I see here is that there's only advanced mags. I don't see any quick mags. I don't see any of that big stuff. We need more ammo, alright? We get so much awesome powerful weapons but then we have like zero ammo you guys even the advanced mags gives you five ammo we need so much more than that now moving on to into the the score streaks you guys this is pretty 
pretty awesome. I love the score streak loadout that they set for us in Black Ops 4, you guys. They have given us so much in this beta, so much hype to look forward to. And the most important thing, the best thing that I think they could have added was the strike team. I remember this thing back in the day, Modern Warfare 3, I think it was like the survival mode. You could get Riot Shield guys to come in and help you. These things are so awesome, and I like that they tweaked them just enough so that they fit in with the multiplayer, but they're not game-breaking. I love that. Moving on to the specialists, you guys, there's, they're, they're all basically the same from our Black Ops 3, uh, because this is a transition from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3, it's a Black Ops 2.5 like I've already said, but we do have some new ones like the Recon and the Torque and uh, Ajax as well and Crash, but you know, the core ones that I would more focus into is Nomad, his K9 unit is a beast and his mesh mines, super duper good, if you are strategized with them, put them in a doorway no one's getting through there boom instant death ruin super duper good the grapple gun i love that thing back to the the secondary the frag grenades and all that stuff take all that out just leave us with the special issue weapons and their actual big weapons and uh and the the only bad thing about the specialists all right you guys we got ajax it's just a riot shield come on now you can do better than that. Take him out. Give us give us the the specter that has the knife and can be invisible. And then take out Crash too. I mean, he just gives you a little bit of extra health. Take him out. Give us back our uh, our dude with the minigun hand, and he can turn into a million robots. You know, the, and then and then we have Profit. Come on, the, his Tempest. It just downs people. It doesn't even kill them. It just downs people. His special issue weapon is better than the Tempest. I'm just saying. Now moving on into the loading screens, you guys. I think this is such a cool part that they've added in. If you go into your specialist HQ, you can click square or whatever it is on the other consoles, and they will pop up a specialist theme in the background. And Nomad, oh my goodness, this thing looks so, so beautiful. And the only other things that I have to say about the Black Ops 4 beta so far, you guys, and just saying, it's only the first day of the beta. You can't bash on it too bad. And Activision, they're obviously going to try to fix as much as they can. That's why they have these betas. But I think that the core game, the basic game by itself, is super, super duper good. Take out all the specialists, take out everything, the core basic game by itself, the aimed, the hit detection, everything, time to kill, is so good. They buffed the time to kill so that it takes a little bit longer. I love that. I love the med kit. I think it's so good. Keep it all in there. I love it. So that's all I have to say for today's video, you guys. If you did enjoy and you want to see more, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos in the future. And uh, also, check out our new sponsor, Fatal Grips. Super duper cool. Check the description and uh, use code DNA10 for 10% off. And they already have good prices anyway. See you next time. If you did enjoy, peace out.